Hi, welcome to my impromptu series where I explain how Luke from Percy Jackson absolutely groomed people. Let's start with Percy. One thing that has to be there for grooming to happen is that someone usually is in a vulnerable state and the other person is presenting themselves as somebody kind and caring when they're actually trying to use them the entire time and they don't realize it until it's too late. Because let's make one thing abundantly clear here. Luke is not helping Percy when he first gets to camp and is very traumatized from seeing his mother die seemingly in front of him and learning about this new world for the first time because he's a nice person. Because what is Luke's plan? What is the plan that Luke has the entire time he is around Percy Jackson? His plan is to force Percy to get stuck in hell, in Tartarus, by himself when he is 12 years old and he doesn't know what's going on. He just got to the Greek world. He doesn't even understand his own powers at this point. So that he will willingly give himself over to Kronos or Kronos more likely will be able to take over his body and kill a bunch of people he cares about with his body and his powers that he doesn't even understand yet and then kill him. That's like what Luke is d trying to do. He's trying to be nice to Percy so that he would be more likely to allow that to happen to him before he really realizes what is actually going on and he has no choice but to go along with it because he's trapped in hell by himself where nobody else can help him and nobody else can save him. Luke is a adult. Percy is a child. Luke knows what he's doing that to Percy. And not only, just to bring up Annabeth for a second, Luke also knows that Annabeth, who he says he cares about, is, like, cares about Percy, likes him, sees that he cares about him during the quest, that they've gotten a lot closer, and he still is absolutely fine with going forward with this plan. And, but also, more importantly, when that plan does not work out, doubles down and tries to kill Percy when they go back to camp. Because I feel like one thing that's being like glossed over in the way that some people try to like romanticize Luke and his like sacrifice or whatever, um, and just like the things that he did to try to make it not be that bad. And Luke realizes that Percy being on a quest for a week with two people who actually love and care about him and got away from his like manipulation tactics and now under sees him more clearly sees him for the person he actually is even though he really doesn't want luke to be this bad person but what else can he do right he wants to kill him and not only seems to want to kill him but wants to hide his body so that nobody will know what happened to him like luke essentially says that in the scene i watched it yesterday he basically says in the scene that he wants to hide him. So he either wants to hide him while he's alive or hide him when he's dead. But I'm assuming dead because if he was going to hide him when he was alive, they would just force Kronos into him, right? He wants to do that to him, a 12-year-old child, because he's going to get in his way. He wants to leave all of the kids that he knows at camp always wondering what happened to Percy. Do you really think that Annabeth would handle well finding out that this person that she just met that she thinks is a wonderful person somebody who is loyal that tries to kill himself at least four different times for her in a matter of a week <laughs> um someone who's actually loyal to her is like do you think that she would be okay with finding out that he was gone and never finding out what happened to him only to find out later that the person that she saw as a brother killed him and covered it up like that's that's the stakes of what luke is doing he wasn't successful in that because percy didn't take him on the quest but that's what luke is trying to do when you make videos saying that luke is sad that's what luke is sad about that his victim got enough time away from him that he wasn't able to do what he wanted to do to him and he kept having autonomy and control over his life. You can talk about Luke's traumatic past and talk about how the basic thought of what he was doing was rooted in something real, but that man 
is a horrible person. And I'm really glad he's dead.